Hi, I'm Patrick Call and I'm here today to talk about how you activate plugins for iTunes. So you may have some plugins that you've downloaded and you want to activate them, you want to install them for iTunes and you're wondering how to do that. A little bit tricky but not too bad. Let me show you how you do it. You want to get to your library. I'm going to go through my Macintosh HD which is on my desktop. If yours isn't on your desktop, you want to go to Finder Preferences to show the Macintosh HD on your desktop. It's an easy way to get to the root level of your hard drive. There's other ways, but that's the quickest and easiest way. Once we're here, we're looking for library. You see library right there. We open up the library, and we're looking for iTunes. iTunes is here, iTunes plugins. What you're going to do is you're going to drag those plugins that you have into this folder, and that's going to install them for you for the next time that you open up iTunes and then you can use the plugins for whatever they do and then you're good to go. If for whatever reason you don't see that folder, you don't see an iTunes folder here, you can actually create one. You can do a shift command N will create a new folder, call it iTunes, open it, do shift command N again, create another folder and call it iTunes plugins. It should be there. Sometimes it's not though and that's how you would do it. You would just create your own folders inside the library and that is how you activate the plugins. For iTunes. I'm Patrick Call. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.